Praise the Lord. Calvary greetings to you all, my brothers and my sisters. I welcome you all to this month of June, the month of divine visitation. So today we are going to be looking at a touch with Jesus. Let us look at the book of Matthew chapter 9 verse 20 to 22. The Bible says, And behold, a woman which was diseased with an issue of blood twelve years came behind him and touched the hem of his garment. For she said within herself, If I may but touch his garment, I shall be whole. But Jesus turned him about, and when he saw her, he said, Daughter, be of good comfort. Thy faith has made thee whole. And the woman was made whole from that hour. Praise thy Lord. A touch of Jesus Christ. My brother, my sister, I want us to look at this word of God. This woman has been facing a problem, which is well known, the issue of blood. For good 12 years, you can imagine how a woman will be going through this, just bleeding for 12 years. So many people were there. But because this woman believed that if I touch Jesus, my situation will change. If I touch Jesus, I will be healed of this disease. You have been listening, you have been hearing, you have been taught about Jesus Christ. Don't be among the multitudes that just go to church. Don't be among the multitudes that criticize Christians. Don't be among the multitudes that criticize pastors. Go to Jesus Christ and touch him. Let Jesus Christ touch you. Let Jesus Christ know that something has touched him. Because where we just read, the Bible made us to understand that Jesus Christ turned. Why? Because he felt somebody touch him. May Jesus Christ turn and listen to you. May Jesus Christ turn and touch your hearts. May Jesus Christ turn and touch your life. It doesn't matter what you are going through. It doesn't matter what you are passing through. It doesn't matter how that situation has stayed. All you need is faith in Christ. All you need is a touch of Jesus Christ. Don't follow the multitude to complain. Believe in Jesus Christ. Don't follow the multitude to accuse pastors. Believe in Jesus Christ. Trust in Jesus Christ. Let your faith be in Jesus Christ. Because when you look at Jesus, when you touch Jesus, when Jesus Christ touch your life, you will not begin to look at errors because Jesus Christ did not allow those people to die for you but he is the one himself that died for your sin don't allow what is happening to deprive you of going to heaven don't allow what you are saying to deprive you of your miracle jesus christ is waiting for you he just wants you to trust and believe in him he just wants you to have confidence in him because his word says that with faith all things are possible when you live to please God. God himself will rise for you to make sure that your life is well pleasing. Welcome to new months. God bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.